We are at the Asia-Pacific Financial Inclusion Summit 2017, which is taking place in Hanoi, Vietnam. And the idea here is to brainstorm on what are the latest best practices. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, in recent years, the financial inclusion process in the world has achieved positive outcome, enabling better asset of people and business to finance and services, narrowing down the gap between rural and urban areas. In the olden days with microfinance, there was a barrier. I mean, you could only set up microfinance branches where there would be viability of the branches. With the advent again of mobile financial services, of DFS more broadly, some of those transaction costs will come down over time. So we should be able to reach more rural, more remote areas. We're living in an era of technology that we've never seen before. We've been sponsoring this summit for over a decade. Ten years ago, we never would have imagined the access that people around the world have to digital technology. The classic model of a bank or a microfinance institution, that model still exists, it still has validity, but where things are changing is really in this digital realm. Digital is changing the scene entirely. It's lowering transaction costs and increasing the quantity of information that financial institutions have. There's many applications for digital technology. Um, a lot of them now are increasingly trying to cater to the needs of regulators. So there are some that help financial institutions to comply with what regulators are looking for. The consequences and the opportunity for helping people off a digital platform are significant, but we don't necessarily understand how to do that well and to what ends. For poor people, okay, you need credit, you need to sit in a group of five women. You need, you need savings, okay, you need to go there. So for the first time we are seeing that if it is finance, irrespective of where it is coming from, it can be brought into one single channel and platform, and that is exciting. To those in greatest need, out comes an increased economic prosperity and as a corollary, greater access to all the elements of prosperity. Healthcare, education, nutrition, sanitation, security, shelter, protection, well-being, dignity, hope. Has this been a great summit? I agree.